Hi. Tonight I want to talk about something that I hear a lot, which is I didn't want to ruin him. You know, when you say to somebody, how have you got on with your training? You know, what have you taught your horse? What have you done with your horse? And I hear this a lot. I didn't want to do anything because I didn't want to ruin him. And the other thing that goes with that is that the horse knows much more than me. The horse is teaching me. Um, and it has a couple of problems with that second one. Let's just talk about that first. I think that it's not the horse's job to teach you. And as we discussed this morning in this morning's video, that um, about with where I discussed learning online, the thing about the horse is that you're always training the horse, not the other way around. You've got to teach your horse your cues so that the horse can then respond to your cues because your cues are going to be slightly different from other people's cues. So that's really important to learn, to know, to understand. And as we said this morning, you know, if you get a Grand Prix schoolmaster horse and you put a beginner rider on there or a novice rider or somebody that doesn't understand the cues or hasn't been taught the cues, then the horse is going to lose the training over time. It won't actually go anywhere and the training will still be there. And if you put an experienced horse or the horse's trainer back on that horse, then the training will still be there. But the less experienced rider that hasn't been taught those cues won't be able to get the horse to perform in the same way because the horse doesn't innately know these things. The horse has been taught these cues. So it's very important that you understand that the horse doesn't know more than you. It doesn't matter how experienced the horse is. The horse could have done all sorts of things and then come to you. The horse is only as experienced as you are because you're training the horse when you ride it. You're a different rider. So every time that you get on that horse, it's a new experience in that, you know, if you haven't taught it those things before. So it's still a new experience. It might make the horse less reactive. The horse might be a little bit quieter because it's got all that experience behind it. But it's, it doesn't mean that it can teach you things. It will certainly make it an easier and a safer place for you to learn that the horse, it's not the horse's job to teach you. So the, the first one I mentioned was that I didn't want to ruin him. And I do hear that a lot, you know, so what have you done with your horse, you know, in the last six months? It's, oh, you know, I haven't done anything because I, I wanted to teach flying changes or I wanted to teach it, you know, do a dressage test or something, but I didn't know how to train it. So I didn't do anything because I didn't want to ruin him. I didn't want to do the wrong thing. And that's an, that's an interesting thing to say, because I think really, if you're the sort of person that's here and listening to this, you're most unlikely to be the sort of person that's going to ruin a horse. Now, I think unless you're going to go out and, you know, beat the horse up or punish the horse or do anything like that, then you're unlikely to ruin him. You're much more likely just to learn the perhaps a way of not doing something. So let's say you want to teach the horse to stand still at the mounting block. So you go up to the mounting block and you go to get on and the horse moves its hind quarter away from the mounting block. And you get off the mounting block and you move the horse back and you get on, get up again and maybe it stands, maybe it doesn't. What you'll learn during that is that you've either got a good way or a bad way of teaching the horse to stand by the mounting block. You won't ruin the horse. If you come out the next week and see you picked up the can do training or something and you come out and you teach your horse hips the fence to stand there for mounting the horse is not going to hold it against you that you did it a different way last week the horse is just going to say oh okay that makes sense i understand that i can do that you want me to stand i get rewarded when i stand i'll do that that's fine and horses are really good like that you know just because we've taught it one way before we have a better way of teaching something and by better way i mean a quicker way and I think it's better if it's quicker because it's less stressful for the horse because you know training for the horse is always going to be better if, it can, if we can do it faster you know with fewer repetitions and we quite often repeat things too often for the horse and that's no good either so um, do remember that you know if you're going out to teach your horse something to try and teach your horse something just bear in mind what it is you want to teach and we'll talk about this next time being able to break any lesson down to make it simple for you to teach your horse the lesson we'll discuss it next time and i look forward to seeing you then bye for now